Love. What is it? Why do we spend so much of our lives trying to find it, keep it, or get over it? What is this thing called love? Love. This funny thing. Now. Called love. A temporary insanity, curable by marriage, or. By removal of the patient from the influences under which he incurred the disorder. You know I'm gonna treat you right. You give me fever. Please welcome and give a hand to Dr. Larry Sherman. So glad to be here and to be of service. Please feel free to call on me if you need me. Fever. Now love is a complex subject. There are as many ways of looking at it as there are people. Lust is driven by the sex hormones testosterone and estrogen. Testosterone is not confined only to men, but also plays a major role in the sex drive of women. Fever started long ago. When it comes to the science of romantic love, there are quite a few things we have in common, like the chemical changes our brains and bodies undergo when we're attracted to someone. Here to help us tell the chemical story of love is an imaginary couple we call Alice and Bob. Instead of looking away, their eyes lock. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's something extraordinary about this eye locking business that I thought I should share. Oh, please, Dr. Sherman, go ahead. If two people are really attracted to each other, the orbital frontal cortex will light up in both brains at the same time. It's sort of like having two light bulbs go off from across the room simultaneously. Oh, thank you, Dr. Sherman. Very enlightening. You who go to my. Every smile you fake, every game you stake, I'll be watching you. Bob is distant, Alice is distraught, the dopamine high is over. Alice wakes one morning to find that Bob has gone. She spends that morning and many mornings to come experiencing the pain of losing at love. Turns out it's almost all now about oxytocin. Oh, if a relationship is going to last, it's the hormone oxytocin that kicks in once the falling in love with love phase is over. The role of oxytocin in long-term relationships was discovered when scientists started to study the prairie bowl. <laughs> the, the prairie, prairie bowl. bowl. Knowing the science behind our deepest emotions, is it helpful? Will it give us a way of perceiving our relationships that perhaps will give us more compassion for ourselves and others as we go through these phases of love. Well, we may never fully comprehend the complex nature of romantic love, but what we have found and know unequivocally through scientific research and our intuitive gut is that love is as essential to life as breathing and eating. We can't live without it. Love is what makes life worth living and enriches our human experience beyond measure. <laughs>